Have you ever wondered where we as Homo sapiens originated from? Our story begins around 315,000 years ago, likely on the continent of Africa. Here we developed from now extinct primates embarking on a journey that would span millennia. Fossil evidence provides a fascinating glimpse into our past, revealing that we weren't alone in our evolution. We shared our Earth with other hominins like the Neanderthals and even various ape-like primates. Imagine a world where not just one but multiple human-like species coexisted, each carving their own unique path through the annals of time. Our evolutionary relationships with these other hominins and apes are still the subject of lively debate. The pieces of this puzzle are scattered across the globe, nestled in the earth, awaiting discovery. Every fossil unearthed adds a new layer of complexity to our understanding, shedding light on our shared history and our distinct evolution. The human family tree is complex, with multiple species living concurrently throughout history. As we journey further into our past, remember this, we are but one branch on this vast intertwining tree of life. The exact evolutionary relationships among humans, hominins and apes have been a matter of debate since the time of Charles Darwin. It's a complex puzzle, one that has fascinated and confounded scientists for generations. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of human evolution, we find ourselves embroiled in a web of theories, debates, and conjectures. For instance, the question of our relationship with other hominins, such as the Neanderthals, is an ongoing conundrum. Recent discoveries and genetic research have sparked a debate among scientists about whether Neanderthals should be considered the same species as early modern humans. The sequencing of Neanderthal DNA revealed that most living humans carry about 2% of Neanderthal DNA, suggesting interbreeding between the two groups. This discovery has challenged the traditional view of Neanderthals as a separate species. Formulating scenarios about our evolutionary journey is no simple task. It requires the amalgamation of contextual information and multidisciplinary scientific tools, paleontology, anthropology, genetics, and other scientific disciplines all play crucial roles in piecing together the puzzle of our past. One of the most essential resources in our quest to understand human evolution is fossil specimens. These remnants of our ancestors provide a tangible link to our past, offering invaluable insights into our evolutionary journey. They reveal clues about our ancestors' physical characteristics, behaviors, and environments, helping us piece together the story of our species. The complexity of human evolution is further underscored by the fact that our family tree is not a simple linear progression from apes to humans. Instead, it's a tangled web with multiple species living concurrently throughout history. Our evolutionary journey spans millions of years, from the time of our earliest hominin ancestors during the Miocene epoch to the development of modern human culture during the Pleistocene epoch. The evolution of the human tribe spans millions of years from the Miocene epoch to the development of modern human culture during the Pleistocene epoch. As we continue to uncover new evidence and refine our theories, the story of human evolution becomes ever more fascinating and complex. As we continue, kindly like and subscribe to this channel to show us your support. Thank you. Let's continue now. Recent discoveries have sparked a debate among scientists about whether Neanderthals should be considered the same species as early modern humans. Dive into the world of paleoanthropology and you'll find that the bones of contention are often just that, bones. Some scientists argue that the anatomical differences between Neanderthals and early modern humans are significant enough to warrant classifying Neanderthals as a separate species. From the shape of their skulls to the robustness of their bodies, Neanderthals certainly present a distinct physical profile. But, hold on a minute. If we delve deeper into the lives of Neanderthals, we find evidence of sophisticated behavior that challenges the traditional view of them as primitive. Archaeological findings suggest they engaged in activities such as hunting, jewelry making, and possibly even spiritual practices. This paints a much more nuanced picture, doesn't it? It's evident that the Neanderthal story is not black and white, but rather a fascinating shade of gray. It's a story about us, about who we are and where we come from. The question of whether Neanderthals should be considered human is complex and culturally defined, with implications for understanding human evolution and potential risks of discrimination based on Neanderthal DNA. 
Human evolution is a complex, fascinating journey that continues to be explored and understood. We've journeyed together through the dawn of human evolution, starting from the emergence of Homo sapiens in Africa around 315,000 years ago. We've navigated the intricate paths of our evolutionary history, cohabiting with other hominins such as Neanderthals and sharing Earth with various ape-like primates. We've seen that the human family tree is complex and multi-branched, with multiple species living concurrently throughout history. We've also delved into the ongoing debate surrounding our evolution, particularly the recent discussions on whether Neanderthals should be considered the same species as early modern humans. Recent discoveries and genetic research have sparked this debate, with most living humans carrying about 2% of Neanderthal DNA, suggesting interbreeding between the two groups. Our understanding of human evolution is continually evolving, much like our species did over millions of years. As we continue to uncover more about our past, we gain a greater understanding of who we are as a species and how we came to be. Did you subscribe, like, comment, and share? What else would you like